Welcome to Security Awareness Training, Protecting Our Digital Assets. At Cyber Warriors HQ, we know that everyone here plays a critical role in protecting your organization. Today, we'll explore the biggest threats, how to recognize them, and the steps you can take to keep yourself and your company safe. I'll be asking you a few questions along the way. Pause for a moment to think, then I'll share the answers. Even though this is a recording, treat it like we're in the same room. Course Structure Overview. This training is designed to make learning clear and practical. Each module will give you a quick introduction, explain the core concepts, share real-world scenarios, and give you steps you can apply right away. At the end, we'll review and you'll be able to test your knowledge. Module 1, Understanding the Threat Landscape. Let's start by looking at the big picture. Cyber threats are constantly evolving, from ransomware to phishing to insider risks. The financial impact is huge. The average cost of a data breach is $4.45 million. Here's a question. What percentage of breaches involve the human element? The answer is 82%. That means most incidents are caused by mistakes or lapses in awareness but that also means you have the power to prevent them. Module two, phishing and social engineering. Phishing is still the most common attack. These messages try to trick you into clicking a link or giving away information. So what's the golden rule when you see an email that feels suspicious? Stop, look, and verify. Don't click, don't reply, and don't provide information. Instead, report it immediately. Module three, Password security and authentication. Your credentials are the keys to your digital kingdom. Weak or reused passwords are like leaving the front door open. How long should a strong password be at minimum? At least 12 to 16 characters. Combine that with a password manager and multi-factor authentication, and you've made yourself a much harder target. Module four, safe web browsing and email practices. Every click online can open the door to risk. What's one easy way to check if a site is safe before entering information? Look for HTTPS and double check the domain and always keep your software up to date to patch known vulnerabilities. Module five, data protection and classification. Not all data is created equal. Public data may be harmless, but restricted data like personal information or trade secrets requires the strictest controls. What's one example of data you should never share without encryption? Customer personal data, financial records, or anything marked confidential. Handle them with care. Module six, mobile device security. Our phones are powerful but vulnerable. What's one simple step you can take to secure your phone? Enable a strong lock screen Keep software updated and use a VPN if you must access company data on public Wi-Fi. Module seven, physical security awareness. Sometimes the threat is physical, not digital. What's it called when someone slips in behind you through a secure door without a badge? That's tailgating. Always challenge politely or report suspicious behavior. Module eight, incident response and reporting. Even with prevention, incidents happen. The key is responding fast. If you suspect malware on your computer, what's the first thing you should do? Report it immediately to the IT help desk or security team. Don't try to fix it yourself. Module nine, remote work security. When working from home, your house is your office. What's the most important way to secure your home office? Strong Wi-Fi passwords, a VPN for access, and safe video conferencing practices like using meeting passwords in waiting rooms. Module 10, building a security-first culture. Security isn't just technology, it's culture. What's one way you can personally contribute to building that culture? By taking personal responsibility, staying informed, and leading by example. Each of us is a security champion. Real-world incidents. These aren't just theories. Companies have lost millions to phishing, weak passwords, or cloud misconfigurations. Each incident shows how small actions can lead to big consequences or big protections if we do the right thing. 
Let's walk through a few scenarios, like a suspicious email from the CEO, a public Wi-Fi warning, or finding a random USB drive. Each of these has a clear, safe response. Stop, don't engage, and report. Scenario 1. Suspicious CEO email. You receive an email that looks like it's from the CEO, marked urgent. It asks you to quickly purchase gift cards and send the codes back. The tone feels pushy and a little unusual. What's the safest response here? This is a classic phishing attempt, known as CEO fraud. Never act on requests like this. Verify through another channel. Call the CEO's office or contact IT. And most importantly, report the email to security. Scenario 2. Public Wi-Fi Temptation You're at a coffee shop and see free public Wi-Fi with no password. It's fast and convenient, and you need to check your work email. Should you connect, and if you must, how can you protect yourself? Public Wi-Fi is risky. Attackers can intercept your traffic. Ideally, don't use it for work. If you must, always connect through a secure VPN and avoid accessing sensitive systems. Scenario 3. Random USB drive. You find a USB drive in the office parking lot labeled payroll data. It's tempting to plug it into your laptop to see what's on it. What's the correct action here? Never plug in unknown devices. USB drives are a common way attackers spread malware. The safe step is to turn it over to IT security immediately. Scenario 4. Strange pop-up on your computer. While working, a pop-up appears saying your system is infected and you must download software to clean it. It looks urgent and even has an official-looking logo. What should you do in this situation? Don't click or download anything. This is scareware, malware disguised as a warning. Close the pop-up if possible, disconnect from the network if needed, and report it to IT right away. Scenario 5. Video meeting. Overshare. You're sharing your screen in a meeting, and someone notices you have a file with confidential client data visible on your desktop. How should you prepare to avoid this? Always tidy your digital workspace before screen sharing. Close unrelated documents, hide sensitive files, and share only the window or app you need. These scenarios show how everyday decisions can either open doors to attackers or shut them down. The goal isn't to scare you, it's to remind you that security awareness is about habits. Each time you pause, verify, or report, you strengthen our defenses. Security is everyone's job. Your daily choices, whether it's spotting phishing, protecting data, or reporting incidents, keep us safe. Thank you for committing to this training. By staying vigilant, you're not just protecting yourself, you're protecting all of us. That's what being a cyber warrior is all about. Security tools and resources. Let's talk about the tools and resources that help us defend against cyber threats. Everyday protection starts with the basics. A VPN keeps your remote connections secure. Endpoint protection ensures every device is shielded against malware. And a password manager helps us create and store strong, unique passwords. But tools are only effective if we use them consistently. We also have organizational resources like the Knowledge Base, Security Awareness Training Platform, and the IT Help Desk for questions. And remember, if something feels off, use the Report Phishing button, the Incident Reporting Form, or contact the IT Service Desk immediately. Question for you. What's one tool you personally rely on daily to feel more secure? Think about it. For most of us, it's the password manager, or VPN, compliance and legal considerations. Cybersecurity isn't just about technology, it's also about compliance. We operate under regulatory requirements like NIST, ISO, and industry standards. These aren't just checkboxes, they protect customers and us as a company. Then there are data privacy laws like GDPR and CCPA. Mishandling personal data can lead to fines, loss of trust, and serious penalties. We also have legal obligations to protect trade secrets, intellectual property, and confidential information. A slip here could result in costly litigation or reputational damage. Question for you. What do you think is the biggest consequence of a breach, financial, reputational, or legal? The truth is all three. 
That's why proactive security is always the best strategy. Emerging threats and future trends. The threat landscape doesn't stand still. It evolves constantly. We're seeing more AI-powered attacks, like deepfake phishing and adaptive malware. The rise of the Internet of Things means more devices, but also more entry points for attackers. And then there's quantum computing. While still emerging, it could one day break traditional encryption. That's why staying ahead of the curve matters. Investing in advanced tools, intelligence, and ongoing education keeps us resilient. Question for you, what do you think will impact us more in the near future? AI-driven phishing or insecure IoT devices? The answer is both, but phishing is still the fastest growing. Quick reference guide. This guide pulls everything together into simple daily actions. Key practices include using strong passwords, staying vigilant with email and links, encrypting sensitive data, and making sure devices are patched and protected. We've also got emergency contacts you can reach out to, IT help desk, security response team, HR for policy issues, and of course, your manager for guidance. And here's your daily checklist. Lock your screen, report unusual activity, back up critical data, and confirm your VPN when working remotely. Question for you. Which of these habits do you already practice daily? If you're doing most of them, you're already ahead of the curve. Assessment and certification. Security awareness isn't a one-time effort. It's continuous. We use knowledge checks, interactive exercises, and feedback surveys to measure how well this training sticks. Certification requires completing modules and passing assessments. That shows you understand our security policies and best practices. We also reinforce learning through periodic refreshers, phishing simulations, and audits. And compliance isn't optional. It means following updated policies and taking part in annual training. Question for you, why do you think ongoing assessments are important even for experienced employees? Because threats evolve and so must we conclusion and next steps. To wrap up, you are your own personal shield, staying vigilant, reporting suspicious activity, and embracing continuous learning are the foundations of our security culture. Here are your next steps. One, review materials if anything felt unclear. Two, complete your certification. Three, apply daily practices like strong passwords and phishing awareness. Four, and stay informed by watching for updates from the IT team. Remember, cybersecurity is not a destination, it's a journey. Every choice you make strengthens our defenses. Thank you for your commitment. Together, we protect not just systems, but people and trust.